Have you ever wondered why some of the biggest e-commerce stores in the world are constantly sending marketing emails? It feels like they're sending them every single day. And do you think they'd be sending those emails if they didn't work? Of course not. On my e-commerce stores, I send at least three emails per week to my database. And I also have automations running in the background that are sending out emails on my behalf at all times. I know that every time that I send an email, I get sales on my Shopify store. And now because of that, email marketing alone brings in around 35% of revenue to my overall e-commerce business. So if you aren't taking Shopify email marketing seriously, you're leaving money on the table. But this video is gonna change that. I wanna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Shopify email marketing on your store, how to set up and send campaigns so that you don't have to rely on ads just to get sales into your online store. Now, if we're just meeting, my name is Brendan Gillen and I'm on a mission to simplify e-commerce for everyone. I've been in e-commerce for over 15 years and I wanna make it easy for you to start, grow and scale your e-commerce business. And I personally have a goal to build a $100 million e-commerce portfolio and I want to take you along for the ride. So if that sounds like fun to you, I think you know what I'm gonna say next. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna get you to subscribe to the channel so that you get notified every time I drop a banging video just like this. Now, the quickest and easiest way and by far the cheapest way to set up Shopify email marketing is to use the inbuilt Shopify app. So we're gonna click Shopify email. Now this should go to the app store or it might actually just install it automatically for you and bring you to this page here. Now this is where we're gonna set up the branding. And as you can see, we've already got our logo. It's pulled it in from the settings that are in this store. So it should bring in your logo. So we can see the way that it is there. But what we can actually do here is we can start to design the way the template looks when we send it out to people. So here we've got the logo and on the right hand side, we can see the way it's going to look with our colors and things like that and our fonts. So this is the store name. So we'll just go through together. We'll type that in, EcoHut is correct. That's exactly what I want it to be. Uh, the types of font that we choose, we could choose anything. We could choose something, something like that choose anything we like. Now I actually do personally like, I do like Futura. Okay, so we can see that one looks a little bit different. It matches my logo really nicely and it changes that one there for you. Okay, then we can go through and we can change the colors. So the body, text, buttons and links and the buttons, labels and outlines. So let's have a look what that looks like. So that's the button background and the text, labels and outlines. So let me just change, I might change that to green because I really think green might look a bit better. So I'll just get this color here. Change that to green. Yeah, it sort of matches my logo, it'll be better. Okay, cool, we've got that there. Awesome, that matches my logo. It shows you the way the products look and the font looks and everything. So you can effectively go in here and just make it look the way that you want it to look. Once we're happy, we're gonna click save. Now this template's gonna to apply to all your emails. So we do wanna get it right, uh, looking nice, uh, so it's coherent with your brand. We're gonna go up to the top right, we're gonna click next. And then here we can see we've got a whole heap of different templates that we can use. And these are really, really useful. So we've either got something like a new collection, product teaser, or just a blank email, sale, new arrivals, back in stock, upcoming sale, long weekend, save the date, discounts, what else have we got? Lots and lots of different emails. So there's two things that I'd like you to think about here. One is choose the one that we wanna start with. But the second thing is, these are great ideas on why to send emails. One of the biggest objections I get in the e-commerce academy when I teach people email marketing is they don't know what to send and they don't have any ideas on the types of emails they wanna send and they don't wanna just keep sending the same thing. What Shopify has done here, they've given us a whole heap of different emails, which means you've effectively got, how many have we got? Three, six, 12, 18, what have we got? 18 there, there's 18 and one, there's another 18 here. So we've got so many options here for ideas for emails, new collections, product teasers, etc. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a new arrivals one for us. We'll click new arrivals, and this is how the email is going to look. Now there's obviously placeholders in here that we can fill out. So let's go through and we'll click select, and we're gonna fill this out. Now this has a couple of things that we're gonna go through here. Now, my one says it does not include Shopify email, it's because we're on a test plan, so don't worry about that. You'll need to also upgrade your plan if you don't have it, so if you see this message here. So we're gonna, a couple of things here. Now we're gonna go into the details in a moment. But at the top here, you can see we've got these who we're sending it to. Now this is what we call segments, and these are segments that are built into Shopify. So by default, there's a couple of segments, such as your subscribers, customers who haven't purchased. We can have a look here and there's, there's uh, we've already got eight segments set up here. I haven't set up any of these. Shopify's just done these automatically for me. But these are effectively the groups of people that you wanna send to. So uh, by default, we'll probably send to all subscribers so that it goes to everyone on our list. But let's just say you wanted to send it to people that are interested in certain things or haven't purchased before. So we haven't had any sales in this store. So it says customers that haven't purchased six. So your cohort might actually say that you've got, you know, customers that haven't purchased one amount and then all subscribers another amount. What we can do here is we can send different emails to people who have purchased 
versus people who haven't purchased. And that's a really great way to try and encourage more sales from other people and you know uh, give discounts to people who have purchased or whatever you wanna do in terms of your marketing mix. Now, if you wanted to edit that, you could click the segment page and in here you can see you've got all these segments. This is a new segment. So I'll just go back and just quickly show you how to use segments. So these are the ones that are defaulted by Shopify, but to create a segment, it's actually really, really easy. So let's go in here. What we can do is we can either choose a template of a segment. So we can go through here and we've got uh, different types of segments here. So let's just say we want to send an email to people who have shopped with us for the first time. So if we choose this one, it's engage first time customers. It's already got all the code that we want in here. We click use this template and we can apply the filters. Now we actually don't have any customers in here because I haven't got any sales. Uh, so we would click save segment. We'd call this first time customers and then that would give us a segment of all those first time customers. So it's really, really easy to build segments and the types of people that you wanna to send to. But let's get back to the email and keep playing around with that. Click marketing, click campaigns. And when you get to marketing, just click the main marketing screen and you're gonna see your draft in here. We click new arrivals and we'll see the design that we just saw. Great. So we could now choose that other segment. So let's open this up. We can now see that additional segment here is first time customers, but we can't select it because we don't have any customers in there. So let's do email subscribers. All right, now this is the subject. So in here, we wanna write a subject line that entices people to open. So we can do a couple of things here. We can just make up one that we want, or we can go through and we can use Shopify magic. So it's automatically uh, put this together for us based on the products that are in the email and based on the email type. We can change this to be something a little bit different. Oh, we can't, never mind. No, we can. We can change this to be something a little bit different, you know, playful, generate. It's gonna change that around for us. And let's do a sadzy surprise. Cool, so that's done that one for us. But I'm gonna show you a little trick that uh, I really like. If we go to another page and we're gonna call, it's called the subject line grader. Click that one there, email subject line grader. What this does is this gives a score based on how good it thinks your subject line is going to be. Now subject lines are super important because if you have a great subject line, it's gonna get person's attention to open the email. If you have a terrible subject line, it doesn't matter how beautiful your email looks, no one's gonna open it. So subject line is exceptionally important. So let's copy this subject line here. We'll copy that and we're gonna paste it into the subject line grader and we're gonna click go. Now, no surprise that the AI has given us 100 out of 100. Uh, so it is saying subject line type, it's got a good character count. Words counts are a little bit high, but it doesn't mind it. It's also got action-based words and emotional words. But if, uh, if I did something like this, open this email, right? And we click go, we only get a score of 56%. Okay, and it gives us a few reasons why is not enough characters, the word count is low. Um, you know, it doesn't have many word mixture and balances. So it's a really great tool to find out how good your subject line is. Let's get back to the email. Great, so we wanna also do a preview text. Now this is the text that shows up when you're looking at it on your phone or in your inbox. We can see sort of inside the email. This definitely helps with open rates. So we wanna go in here and we wanna do something. Now, a little trick to get those open rates up high is to personalize this one here. So in here we wanna write dear, and then we can click over on the right hand side here and we can put in a first name, right? So it's gonna say, dear Brendan. Now, if you don't know their first name, it's put this thing in called a default value. So if we just had dear and nothing there, it would look a bit weird. So we could have in here, dear friend, okay? So if we don't know their first name, we can put the word friend in there instead. So click save. Now we can see this one is actually coming from uh, a personal email of mine. It's not coming from the domain. Now we wanna fix this. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna click edit sender email. So we then need to make sure that we can actually uh, send from this email. So there'll be a verification email that gets sent to your inbox. You're gonna to need to click that to verify your email. Now I don't actually have this email address, so it's not gonna work for me, but it will work absolutely for you. All right, so now that that's done, we can go back to the email and we can make sure that it is all working, okay? Cool, so now it's coming from me, makes more sense. Now, just one last thing on getting this domain right. This is important because if it's not done right, your email will go to spam. It needs to come from the domain of the website that you're sending from, all right? Cool, all right, let's go through a little bit now. And here, this is where we can actually edit the email. So if we look here on the left, we've got you know this text we can edit. Uh, so we can say new bath products this season. Okay, so we can just change that. Super simple, super easy. Can change, you know, the size if we want it. We can go over the cross and change the size. You know, we can change the colors. We can effectively do anything we really want here. Probably won't change it to white. Uh, let me put it back to green. 
Okay. And then in here, this is where it pulls in the products. So you can see it's just automatically pulled in products for us, but you could go in here and add your own products. So let me add some toothbrushes in there and I'll add this organic coffee. Okay. And you can see it's now going to fill this out. So those products are directly in there. You can see how easy this is. And then here we've got buttons like shop arrivals, which is great. And then, you know, we've got all these sort of ones. So this is the template they've given us. So really all you need to do is go through and fill in everything that you want. Now, there's a couple of key things that I want you to do here. We want to make sure that this has the best chance of hitting the inbox and not be in spam. So if we have too many images in here and not enough text, uh, the email inboxes don't really like it. Whereas if you have too much text and not enough images, then it's not gonna be very visually appealing. So we wanna have a nice combination of text to images. So what I like to do is make sure that this is real text and then write a little bit of a paragraph in here just to put a bit more text in here. So it says discover the latest additions to this store. Uh, browse from our new range of soaps, toothbrushes and more. Now the idea here is we just want to have more and more, a little bit more text just to pad it out a little bit. So now we've got some text here, we've got some images with a bit more text, images, buttons, nice clear call to actions, everything like that. Okay, so this is how we, we set that one up there. Now if we want to add extra bits in here, we can definitely do that. We would click add section and we can start to build out whatever we want here. So we can add just a plain text section where we can you know, uh, write anything we want in here. We would probably spell it properly, <laughs> anything we want. Cool, awesome. Uh, we can have a look at some other sections. We can put in things like buttons, images, videos just been added, which is really cool to express checkout. So really what you can do here is just start to have a play around with it and see what works for you and your brand. Uh, I'll give you a little hint of where you can get some inspiration from. So there's another store, which is called milled.com. Now this is a really great one for email marketing. So when we're on this store, what we wanna do is we wanna click brands and let's type in here, let's type in say Gymshark and see what comes up. Okay, we can see we've got Gymshark here. Let's click in. And now we can see every email that has come from Gymshark. This is really, really cool. So you can see this is from September 3, August 30, July 25th. Might not have all of them, but it has a good amount of them. So let's have a look at this. They're obviously having a sale. And we can see now what that email looks like from Gymshark. So they've got images, they've got buttons. Uh, it's not loading that great on this one. Let's try another one. Let's go. Let's just go uh, the Nike and see what comes up. Okay, great, we've got a few more from Nike. Let's choose the Australian Nike. Okay, this is much better. Let's have a look at this. these emails here. These are a little bit older, but let's have a look at them anyway. Cool, now we can see how this email is. We've got the big image there, we've got the text, we've got the real text is much better than the Gymshark one. Uh, we've got an image, we've got text and a nice call to action there. So you can really get inspiration using mill.com. There's another site you could also use, which is called Really Good Emails. Let me type in Really Good Emails, it's this one here. And this has a very similar thing. So let's just say I wanted to research coffee emails. I'll type in coffee and we can press search. And it now brings up all emails related to coffee. And again, I can get more inspiration from this. So have a look at this one. How cool is this? You know, shows me exactly what it looks like. So what we do is we pick up these ideas, this inspiration, and we go back into our Shopify store and we build it out ourselves by adding sections and doing basically everything in there. All right, so the world is your oyster. The creativity is the only thing that is gonna hold you back. Awesome, so we're gonna pop out of this. And what we wanna do now is we're gonna click a send test. Now it's probably not gonna work, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. What you'll have to do here is you're gonna have to send tests because your store is going to be live. Now, I highly recommend you send a test to your personal email or your work email, whatever you want it to be, because we wanna make sure that it looks great in your email inbox, but not only on your desktop, I want you to look on your mobile as well because most people are gonna get this on mobile. Great, so we're gonna close that off. You'll be able to send it, all right? And then we'll be able to review it and schedule it out. So that is sending campaign emails. It's really simple, really straightforward. I recommend you do at least one a week to get started of getting the emails sent out. So that's sending campaign emails. What about the automations that I talked about? Now, this is also built into this app. I think there's some basic automations here that we can do in this app. However, if you really wanna take things seriously, we actually use Klaviyo, we don't use Shopify email marketing, 
for our emails. Clavio is awesome. I've actually put a trial uh, link down below so you can use that. I think it's free for up to 500 contacts. So if you're just starting out, Clavio is awesome. It has all these pre-built uh, automations. Shopify email will get you somewhat the way there. I'll take you through them now, but uh, if you really wanna get serious, <laughs> give Clavio a go. So we're gonna click over here and click create automation. And we're going to choose from some of the automations they have here. Now, some really popular ones that I like are both abandoned checkout and abandoned cart. Uh, basically, abandoned checkout is when someone gets to the checkout with items in the checkout. Uh, if they don't check out, we will be able to send them a reminder email to say, hey, you've left something in your cart. The abandoned cart one is slightly different. And that is if someone's added to cart but not got the checkout, we can then send them a reminder email. So they're the two that I highly recommend. Uh, the welcome new subscriber is a great one. So if someone joins your list, this sends them a welcome email. Uh, and then the welcome email series is also really cool. That is where it sends them a welcome email and then sends them a discount afterwards. Let's do that one first. Let's click into the welcome series. It tells you exactly what happens here. So it says a customer subscribes to marketing. You send the marketing email. We wait a day, we send a marketing email, uh, et cetera. What else happens after that? We then wait 24 hours and we send a marketing email. So you can see there's this flow of automated emails that goes out for you, all right? So what we're gonna do is, ah, it says we need to install Shopify Flow. So if you don't have Shopify Flow, this is what you need to do. Now we're gonna click install, it should be pretty quick. Now it's free, so you don't need to worry about that. And we're gonna click use workflow. It's gonna copy and paste this workflow directly into your store with Shopify Flow. And then we can go through and edit every single email in the flow. And this is gonna help you get more sales. So we're gonna go into each one of these and we'll see over on the right hand side what the email looks like. You can see it's loaded up. It looks very similar to the branding that we set up at the start. We can see that it's got products in here. So we can go in and we can edit this email just by clicking edit email. And it takes you back to pretty much the same editor that we saw before. So we can go through and we can edit all these sections just as we did. We can change the preview text, we can change the subject line, everything like that. So that's the way we effectively go in and edit those emails. But what you'll see is if you go back to the flow, we can see that each of these flows waits 24 hours. This first email will send when someone subscribes. It's gonna then wait a day and then it's gonna send this next email. And this next email is a little bit more information about other products that are on your store. And then we've got another email. This one is slightly different. Let's have a look what this one says. Great. And as we keep going, it's basically going to go through and send automated emails. Now, we call this like a nurture sequence. And the idea behind this is that if we send regular emails, we get people used to receiving emails from you. Now, these emails do need to be educational. There's four emails I'd love you to send in this welcome sequence. So write this down. All right, grab a pen. All right, let's go. Now the first one is the welcome email. Now this is the one that welcomes them to the list that they've just joined and welcomes them to the store. Okay, so they know where they are and why they've signed up. The second email, we like to do a little bit of about us. You know, why they've joined and why they should continue to listen to your emails. The third one is we wanna talk about our products and we wanna talk about how good the products are. We might wanna alternate that potentially with getting them to follow you on social media or see some of your social media posts. And then the final one is when we wanna do the discount. And this is what we see here. So there's a conditional split here, which basically says, have they ordered or have they not ordered? Now, if they have ordered, then we're not gonna send them a discount. If they haven't ordered though, we're gonna send them this email. Now this email says, don't forget about your discount. And if we go in to edit the email, we're going to see that this section that's in there that was green actually has the discount in there. So that's gonna be dynamically generated and sent out. So you can see what's gonna happen here. Someone's gonna to subscribe to your list, we're gonna to start to nurture them, start to get to like them, and then we're gonna send them a discount to encourage them to buy from us. I want you to think about like if you're going on a date, right? Imagine you went on a date and you said, hey, by the way, come straight home with me, right? It doesn't really always work that way. Well, it didn't for me. So what this does is we want them to get to know you through a couple of emails, introducing yourself, getting them to know the community, getting to know your products, and then we ask for the sale. So that's how we set up Shopify email marketing. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. It's really basic, really simple, but a great way to get started to get sending emails out to your customers. So I highly recommend you give this a go, send at least one email a week. And I want you to report back down in the comments, once you've sent a couple of emails, has your revenue increased? Uh, if it has, tell us how much it does. If it hasn't, I want you to send more emails or tweak and test the emails to see how they go. Shopify email marketing will get you most of the way there, but if you do want to really level up your game, I highly recommend you give out give Clavio a trial. Now we teach how to use Clavio in detail in our e-commerce academy. So if that's something you're interested in, I've got a link to the e-commerce academy down below, and I think it'd be a great fit if you want to take your email to the next level.